Everybody, Stallions, Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the fourth episode of my Let's Play of the Fifth Column Custom DLC. And in the last episode, we ended up doing, I think it was two missions and killing about five bosses. So yeah, it was a pretty hectic episode and uh, a lot of fun. I, I got to say, I'm I'm enjoying this custom DLC so far, but I really want to get it done so I can uh, do some other custom DLCs. But we also found ourselves a couple of really rare items. The first of which was the Undertaker. That's the wrong one, sorry. This one. Yeah, we found ourselves an Undertaker, which is a vanilla game pearlescent. I'm still amazed that we found that. And also we found... Oh, I, di I didn't pick it up, but it was a... I think it's still there, actually. It was a... Bone Shredder Savior that dropped from Bonehead, of course, because uh, he was one of the bosses we had to kill. And yeah, a Bone Shredder Savior. So that's that's one of the hybrid weapons in Borderlands 1. Anyways, let's keep going. I don't want to, you know, sit around and keep talking. That can get boring. <laughs> you know, that happens a lot with me. I just sit around and ramble, but you know, I'm going to try to try to not do that. So I'm not sure exactly where we're supposed to go next. I'm going to activate our little friend, The Guide, over here. That's what I'm going to call it because <laughs> still haven't came up with a name yet for it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's its official name now, The Guide. So, let's follow this thing. Hopefully, hopefully we can make some decent progress this episode. Now, I know last... Uh, the very the very end of last episode, we picked up the mission that I'm on now, and we're supposed to go kill another four bosses, because in the last episode we killed four bosses in one mission, and we're supposed to go kill another four bosses, so that's a thing. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, but... Gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so this is all right. There's our there's our little there's the guide. I gotta keep calling it that. <laughs> I don't really need to. This is stupid. And then we got this thing stuck in here. Let's just go real quick. Okay, so here's yeah. I knew it. We got the next four bosses we gotta take out. Let's see. So Janus Cobb. I can't remember. Janus Cobb. Taylor Cobb. Crom and what's the other boss? One-Eyed Jack, I believe that's the other one. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm already gonna die. I am already gonna die. Just spam these transfusions. Because I'm just gonna regenerate them back. <laughs> Oh, Janus Cobb's already dead. That was easy. This might be a cheap tactic, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't care if this is a cheap tactic. I ain't going in there. I ain't going in there, obviously. I mean, look at this. Freaking One-Eyed Jack just ricocheted a bullet off the dang wall and killed me. Attempt number two. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh my... Are you serious? Are you serious? No! <laughs> okay, attempt number five, I think? Either that or attempt number six. I lost track. That's how many times I've died. But I finally figured out what has been giving me so much problems. I did not see Krom's turret up there. At, well, at least at first. So, hey, now we can actually... Oh, see, look at that. 
That is one bit. That that has been doing so much damage to me. Those rockets. I gotta take that thing out pronto. Can't believe I didn't see that up there at first. It's kind of obvious too. Oh, okay, it seems like this is doing decent. Is it regenerating? Don't tell me. I swear, if that thing's regenerating health. Either that or I just suck at aiming. One of the two. Man, I'm not sure what to do right now, guys. This is just so hard. Alright, guys, so I have finally taken out Krom's turret. It's taken so many fails, but I finally did it. Uh, what I ended up doing, though, is I switched to the Defiler, and it seemed to work wonders against him. Uh, but I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. As you can see, when I jack, and who's the other boss here? I think it's Taylor Cobb. They're, they're just firing at me for days. As you can see, they're just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared to poke my head out here. Taylor Cobb has the roaster on him. Uh, unique rock launcher and as you can see he's just these guys do not want to let up <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous because I have gotten one-shotted by one eyed jack and it wasn't pretty but here we go I gotta I gotta at least try you don't know how long it took for me to finally take out just Krom's turret it, it took so long I might compile a little death montage, I don't know. See, We'll see what happens. I'm really hoping these are the last four bosses though. I'm really hoping. Because... Yeah, this is just... It's getting to the point where it's... Oh! It's getting to the point where it's almost impossible. <laughs> I mean, it really feels like that. Mm. <gasps> oh! Wow, I'm actually doing a lot of damage to Taylor Cobb right now. There we are. There we are. Okay, I think the last boss is... When I jack. Oh man, this is not good. I'm just constantly chucking these transfusions because I... Yeah, as you can see, one shot almost kills me. One shot. At least we got Taylor Cobb, though. I, at least we got Taylor Cobb. Ah, that sucks. Okay, guys, One Eye Jack is almost dead. He's got a sliver of health left. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, come on. Yes. Round two complete. Return to Helena using the building switch. Oh. <laughs> Finally! Finally! Oh, I am so glad that is. <laughs> we just got ourselves the freaking jackal! <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. It's crazy because we just found the Undertaker, which is another Burlescent, last episode, in this same area. Now we find this. Burlescents in this must be common or something because, man, wow. I don't think I'm going to pick this one up, though. Uh, I want to. But I, I just don't really have anything that I can drop right now. I'll probably end up coming back to pick this up. Uh, I really feel bad not picking this up. But I really wish I could uh, express how I really feel about this dropping. Normally I just freak out. But I am out of energy after uh, finally taking these bosses out. Just took so many tries, guys. It took so many tries. But man... Wow, that that's crazy. That is crazy. All right, let's let's get out of here. Oh, I am tired. <laughs>
I am tired. It is getting kind of late. Um, I don't really want to end the episode here, though. What the heck? Crom? You okay, bud? <laughs> you okay? Um, okay then. Alright, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave him be. He looks like he's chilling there. Oh, what was that? Was that? It's awesome. That must be his pistol. Crom's, is it Crom's sidearm? But, how is, how is he still alive? I, I don't get it. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna leave him there. Cause why not? Actually, no, no I'm not. Oh crap. Please don't tell me he's going to be shooting at me now. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's like saying stuff still too. Wow. There's more than one way to skin a merc. Or whatever he said. <laughs> this is hilarious. This right here was way worth it. Yeah, that that pearlescent was worth it, but man, this. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Of course, his ragdoll disappears. That was awesome. I've got to say, that was awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. I gotta go, hold on. I gotta go see what he dropped real quick. I, th I think he just dropped... Chrome's sidearm, yeah. Yep, there we go. Level level 67 version of it. What? Oh! I almost missed that. There's a red chest over here. Was that there before? Hold on, does this keep going? Please don't tell me. Does that... Can you get over there normally? Matador? Hold on, I gotta see this. Okay, there's a barrier. Thank goodness, because... Man. I really hope this is the last mission. I have a feeling that it's not. Um, Looks like you can actually keep going over there. Maybe I can figure out a way to glitch out. Alright, let's head back and turn this mission in. That was insane. I'm I'm just gonna get it get that out there right now. That was insane. Whew, man. So many freaking fails. But I finally managed to do it. Alright, I think we turned it into Don't get all squishy on me now. You're not done yet. Rack and issue and Mothrack are pissed and want some redemption. For the last time, head to the hills and prove that they I didn't even read that after the battles won you will earn your reward or something dang I didn't get to read all that but I think this is it I have a feeling that this is this is the final battle guys because she said for the last time so ooh, here we go I was hoping this was the final battle but Here we go. Alrighty guys, really quick, I just want to mention something. Uh, you may notice that I might sound a little bit different. Also, the loot is in different places and there's loot that wasn't there originally. That's because I actually had to stop recording this last night. Yeah, I, I was doing this pretty late last night and I started to doze off while trying to do this mission. So. Uh, yeah, I ended up stopping the recording and decided to continue it today. So, yeah, um, I had to go through and do all of the missions to get to this point. And it was a little bit of a hassle, but here we are. I did pick up the mission already from Helena, so let's do this. I don't want to waste any more time. Okay, let's do this. Well, I don't remember these guys waiting for me. Now, uh, I didn't really make any progress on this mission last night so don't worry about that I don't know what to expect well 
I do know what to expect as far as what bosses we're going to fight, but, uh, you know, I actually never made it over there to fight them. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, I never did finish this mission. I, I tried getting over there, but I started to just fall asleep. And, yeah, it wasn't pretty. I might have died repeatedly when I was dozing off. And I actually don't even remember, to be honest with you. I think I lost a lot of money in the process, but whatever. Money is irrelevant at this point. It really is. Once you get to level 69, money is not going to be an issue. Yeah, you might find a, a nice legendary in the vending machine every now and again, but do you really need it? You know, unless it's like maybe if it has perfect parts or something, or it's a level 69 legendary. That would make sense, but it's kind of rare, so. Now, you're probably wondering what just happened, why am I all of a sudden back here, uh, and stuff like that. Well, to sum it up, let's just say I died multiple times because I'm an idiot and I can't talk and play at the same time. That right there is the main reason why I suck at doing these live videos. Uh, but another thing you might notice is, what's up with those red dots on the compass and why are they moving so quick? And, well, let's just say I stumbled upon, you see that? That was Mothrak. <gasps> yeah, so I made it as far as the that area with all the spider ants, and Mothrak just comes in out of nowhere and blows me up with its mortars. And here is where I left off. It was just attacking me a second ago in this area, and now it's over there again. So I don't know what it's doing. So I, I was gonna kill it in this in this first area. I feel like that would be the best way to take it down. But it, even when I shoot at it, it doesn't seem to want to come over here. So I may need to go into that area, take it out from there. But I'm a little bit ooh wow, that was actually doing a lot of damage. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just make our way over there and hope for the best. Here we go. Alright, so after many attempts of trying to get to this area without Mothrak completely destroying me, I finally did it. And, yeah, as you can see, this is a this is a really good source of cover. This tent, it seems to do the trick. Uh, the mortars don't seem to hurt me, which is really nice. Um... So I'm not really sure what to do next, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. <gasps> oh man. Mothrak does not want to let up. I swear, this is like raid boss difficulty. That's how hard this seems. That's how hard. Oh. I wonder what's the best he used against it. Maybe the... I'm gonna try the Unforgiven. That might do pretty well. Try it. Oh, wow. That's actually doing some damage. I honestly thought Mothrak was gonna have a lot more health than this, but... Thank God. <laughs> Seems like we're doing some decent damage. I wonder where Rakanishu is. I thought that was uh, another boss that we're supposed to fight here. It might just be uh, Mothrak, though. I'm not sure. I can't remember what um, Helena said as far as like the bosses we're gonna fight. I could have sworn she said Rakanishu. Maybe you guys can go back and, and check see what she said. Cause I honestly don't remember. Yeah, we're, we're gonna kill this thing. That's for sure. Wow, this isn't too bad. Here's a really good strategy. See what it drops. Oh, is that a... <laughs> I see another Prolescent! I see another Prolescent. Oh, there's... There's Rackin' Issue. Wait, I'm saying it wrong. It's not Rackin' Issue. I knew I was pronouncing that wrong. Rack, uh, wait, well, yeah, it is Rack an Issue. Rack, Rack an Issue, I think. Alright, 
Alright, that's good, because... I mean, I, I'm just bad at pronouncing things anyways. I, I think I actually pronounced it wrong in my... Uh, I can't remember. Arachnisha drops a unique weapon. I think it's the Sentinel. And my guide for the Sentinel, I think I was pronouncing... I think I was pronouncing it Raka Raka issue or something. I can't I can't remember. Raka tissue. Yeah, if we just sit here, this is this is actually not that bad. This is not that bad. There we go. What was that? Was that the Sentinel? <laughs> Look how far that thing flew. Wow. Alright, I think we did it. Did it say we're done? Steel Thumper. Some of this loot was already here before. Meat Grinder, Friendly Fire. Um, yep, right there, the Avenger. <laughs> nice. I actually think I want that. The Avenger that I have isn't very good. I wonder what I can drop though. I don't really have anything that I can drop. Just quickly check. Ah, uh, man. I don't know. I think I'll drop... I don't really want to drop any more of my custom items. You know, I'll drop this level 69 Undertaker for it. I hate to do that, but where'd it go? We found this bad boy in the last episode. I hate to do that. But I think I'd rather have the Avenger. Nice. What's this? Anything? Okay, I, I believe that's it. I'm honestly not sure what we're supposed to do next, though. Huh. Let's just teleport back, and uh, I'm guessing we gotta go turn it into Helena. Does this work? Oh! <gasps> oh snap! What is this? Oh! What? <gasps> oh! Are you kidding me? The ironclad? Oh! I don't have this. I don't have this. Oh. oh. Are you are you serious right now? This is it's freaking this is crazy. Mind is officially blown right now. It is officially blown. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. This was well worth it right here. This right here was well worth it. You guys got to get your hands on this DLC. I mean, look at this. A chest full of pearlescent shields. Damn. <laughs> Damn. The ironclad right now. I don't have this. That means I could do a guide on it now. Ho 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 yeah. That Omega's better than mine. I guess I might as well equip it. These items don't scale to level 69. That's actually kinda good. Uh because well, like I said in the last episode, I'm not sure if Pearlescence uh, scaled level 69 in the main, or in the in the vanilla game. So, yeah. That's actually kind of a good thing. Um, anyways, let, let's pick up this Ironclad. I honestly don't know what to drop it for. I'm going to drop my Omega for this, though. That's for sure. Ho, 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 snap, son. And then, I don't know what to drop for this ironclad. Let's see. What do I got? 
sucks. I don't want to drop anything, but... I gotta pick up the shield. I've yet to do a guide on it. Um, you know, I'm just gonna drop one of these custom weapons. Hate to do this. We could probably find another one, though. Uh, let's drop... I drop the Falcon. I hate to do that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I believe the shield has the highest capacity out of all of the shields in the game, so that's awesome. It's a really nice rebel right there. Nice. This is just crazy, guys. I was not expecting this. I knew there was, like, some sort of loot room, but I wasn't expecting, like, all these pearls. It's crazy. I definitely recommend this DLC. To any of you guys that have Borderlands 1 for PC, go out and get this DLC. There's going to be links in the description below. You're going to, of course, need to download Oasis first, which more or less is a map hub to most of the custom DLCs for this game. That will also be in the description below. Basically everything you need is going to be in the description. So just check there. And yeah. Um, but I think that is it. I, I'm really tempted to pick up this Undertaker over here. I think it's better than my Undertaker. Let me just quickly drop mine in favor of this one. I'm pretty sure it's better. Cause this one's level 68, mine is level 66. Yeah, wow, that the fire rate difference. Sweet, yeah, I'm gonna pick this one up. All right, well, let's get out of here. I'm, I'm assuming we press this button. Sweet. All right, I, I think we gotta talk to Alina, unless that's it. Do we? Alright, so I found out something. If you come over here and talk to this dude, he'll give you the first mission again. Uh, well, that's if you complete the DLC. I don't think you can come over here like halfway through the, uh, the DLC and talk to him and expect him to reset your progress. I don't think that's how it works. It might be. I don't know. I haven't tried that. But I honestly think it's if you complete the DLC. So I find that pretty interesting. Like You could uh, keep going without saving and quitting and um, I'm not sure if the chests reset or really how it works but I may end up doing that later down the road uh, and stuff but yeah I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video guys actually this whole this whole let's play now I can actually move on to some of the other custom DLCs that I've yet to try out uh, I, I do have crow's nest installed which is one that I I'm really looking forward to playing I don't know when I'm going to start doing that though. So expect that to be maybe the next DLC that I go through. That, that'll probably be really quick. Maybe even one episode's worth. Which, that would be nice. I'm hoping the other custom DLCs aren't too big. Like this one got a little bit frustrating because I had to go through the missions over and over again. Like if I save and, saved and quit, I had to legitimately go through and do all of the missions to get to where I left off in the Let's Play. Which got pretty frustrating. I don't think the other custom DLCs will be like that. I think it's just you explore and so on and so forth. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'm out of here. Peace!